Hi folks, today I am going to show you how to make a chocolate biscuit cake. Now, if you haven't come across a chocolate biscuit cake, it's basically chocolate, golden syrup, butter, all wrapped around biscuits, Maltesers, wonderful, crunchy and sweet things, resulting in one of those sorts of cakes that nobody confesses to loving, but they actually do. Now, it's very, very easy to make. If you made Rice Krispie treats when you were growing up, this is kind of in the same vein. So we're going to start off with some butter in a pan. And as you can see, it's quite a lot of butter going in here. I'm going to melt this this down alongside some golden syrup. Now, if you can't get your hands on some golden syrup, especially if you're in the States, I think uh, some corn syrup will do the job. So we're gonna melt this down just to the point that that butter melts out. And I have a whole heap of chocolate going in here. And you could melt the chocolate over a bain-marie, but I'm actually gonna use the heat from the butter and the golden syrup to melt up a whole heap of dark chocolate but by all means use whatever chocolate you like and you can even make this with white chocolate. So there's plenty of options. Okay, while this is melting away and waiting for its chocolate glory, let's talk about the ingredients for this chocolate biscuit cake. I have a combination of things. I have some rich tea biscuits, which are sort of like a more compact digestive biscuit. I'm just gonna crack these in here and you kind of want nice chunky pieces in here. You're just looking for that dryness that's wrapped around that kind of richness. And it's a great thing for a kid's birthday party or even just eating by yourself from the bowl. It's totally up to you. Right, we've got butter melting, we've got golden syrup coming on. I'm gonna take this off the heat now. I'm going to pop it in this little bowl here and I'm gonna pop the chocolate straight in here to melt. And while that melts down, let's get back to our biscuit mixture. So to this, I wanna add a little bit of chew, a little bit of sweetness, and that comes from some dried cherries. For a little bit of sweet crunch, and you don't have to do this, but I really love the addition of Maltesers, or I don't know, what, what are they called in America? I can't remember what they're called in America, but anyway, these little malted chocolate balls. Put them on in there, and we're just gonna give that all a good toss up, just to get kind of mingled together. And at this point now, we should have a chocolate sauce that is ready to go. And you can just see how super glossy that chocolate is. And that definitely comes down to the fact that you've got the butter in there and you've got that golden syrup, which is gonna give you that richness into this sauce. So straight on in, this is the moment that it all looks pretty darn good. This is the sort of moment that when I was making this as a kid, my aunt or my mom, basically whoever was letting me in the kitchen, would not let me lick the bowl and they would use the spatula until they got every last little bit and I'd never get to lick the bowl. It was really a sad time in my house. Right, all that chocolate in and now it's just a case of giving it all a good mix through. This looks wonderful. We've got glossiness, we've got chocolatiness and I have the tiniest little cake tin you ever could imagine that I've lined with a bit of parchment paper to allow myself to get this out easily enough. And now it's just a case of tumbling this in and pressing it nice and tight. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do so that the cameras can see what I'm doing by pushing it towards the camera like this, which is always really awkward, but this is what they make me do. So let's do it. Really awkward. Oh gosh. Okay. Can you see? Oh see, and it always ends up all over the counter. Come in, come in here and see what's going on. So just scrape every last little bit out and using the spatula, I just wanna press this down until it's really nice and tight and compact. Okay, this is looking pretty good and now it is ready for some time in the fridge. We got chocolate cake, it has been into the fridge, it is set, I've taken it out. As you can see, it has lots of lumps and bumps and that's kind of okay with chocolate biscuit cake, but I do have a little way of finishing this off. It's a chocolate ganache and it starts off by melting some butter and bringing up some cream just to temperature. Okay, we're at a nice little simmering point. So I'm gonna take this off the heat. I'm gonna add my chocolate in here and just melt that chocolate through this sauce just until it becomes nice and smooth and whisk in a little bit of icing sugar. Oh my goodness, we are in business. Look how thick and glossy and chocolatey this is. And right now, I need to stop talking and get this over because this is where it's all about to go down. Chocolatey, oozy, gorgeousness. Pour the whole nine yards over the top and then just using a little offset spatula, get in there and just let it drip down the sides. I am sorry, but does that not look like the most beautiful 
little chocolate cake you ever did see. Now, this is pretty much all you need to do. But if you're feeling fancy, and if you've got loads of kids coming over for a birthday party, you gotta crack out the disco glitter. Look at this. Little bit of sugar pearls just going over the top. I feel like, you know, sometimes cakes just need to be a bit kitsch. Sometimes cakes need a, a little bit of a neon bauble made out of sugar just to finish them off. Now my friends, this is not high class baking. This is not high class patissier. This is chocolate biscuit cake and this is what my childhood was made of. I mean, look at that. It's ridiculously messy. It's ridiculously gaudy. But you know what? If you gave me that for my birthday, I'd be a happy man. So I'm gonna just use a little serrated knife and try and slice into this. Okay, 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 okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This, this, with a, with a clown, with a clown and a magician. This is my childhood right now. This is what I had with a Rice Krispie cake and I'd be all high with a little party bag. Oh my God, it's, it's too much. Oh my. Giggles the clown. The magician's just brought a rabbit out of the hat. Oh good, go make it. I'll leave the recipe in the link below. Comment, subscribe, like, share. See you soon. Now, if you haven't come across these ones before, they are um, these ones right there. To finish it off to beautiful glossiness. Action. Action.